Well, hello, God bless you today, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a wonderful day. Now, my friends, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I am just overwhelmed. I am filled with joy. I am filled with excitement. I am, I, I'm full. This coming Sunday, now, listen, I'm, I'm here to invite you to join me tonight. And when I talk about tonight, my whole expression might change in just a moment. But I want to tell you about this coming Sunday. And most of you already know, this Sunday will, will mark the 52nd week that we have been uh, back in live services here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Week 52 will convene here for us this Sunday at the Upper Room. And I tell you, I thank God for allowing us to experience such a milestone. I was just told today that uh, some churches have announced that they're going to, uh, in this area, that they're going to open in June, and then some have decided that they're going to open immediately. And I say to them, praise the Lord. I'm glad for you. Welcome back. Uh, you could have done that 165 services ago in our state, because in our state, 165, uh, uh, well, 51 weeks ago, the governor was overturned and people could return to their churches. And I thank God that the Lord kept us. And I thank God that we had a plan and a mind to return to church. I thank God that the members of our church, uh, many of them said, Bishop, if the church doors are open, we're going back to church. And if you recall, during the seven weeks when we were down, this preacher, every, every message during the seven weeks, uh, we said that this is not going to be our new normal. I called it the new, never to be called normal. We said that we would not forget Jerusalem. And we uh, talked about how the governor placed a church on the non-essential list, and we would come in for, for seven weeks. And it was a blessed time for seven weeks. The, the, uh, the musicians, the sound techs, the, the praise team, uh, yours truly, my wife, and some armor bearers, some elders and ministers would meet us uh, uh, here at the church, and we would uh, have our services uh, right here at the church. We would do it live here at the church, and the saints watched it online. And uh, what was funny during that time, until the weather got too cold, when we would leave here, leave the services during that time to get in our cars and to go home, the field right next to the church, more often than not, would be packed with young people out there in the field uh, playing soccer, playing football, play, uh, uh, out there running and jumping and exercising. And whereas in many cases, law enforcement was patrolling churches to make sure the church was closed, but nobody said anything to those kids as they stayed out there and played and uh, ran up and down the fields. And we believe that God would allow us when the time was right, to enter into the house of God again. And uh, I want to thank God for my administrator, Evangelist Patricia Lester. She had given me weeks before God moved, uh, she had given me a re-entry plan. And you know what we did? By faith, we put it into place. We put it, we put it into action. We began to go over it. We begin to plan because let me tell you, when you ask God for something and when you believe God, then you got to behave and respond like you believe. So we believed him. We waited and praise God. And I'll talk more about it Sunday. It, it came to pass. And here I sit before you, what I preach tonight, that tonight will be the 160, uh, uh, second, uh, a service or 163rd service, and then we will preach twice Sunday, which would give us our 165, if my numbers are correct. <laughs> but you get the point. 
And God has watched over us and the Lord has been faithful and I am excited about it. We're putting a lot of things in place and I want to invite you, you, and especially you to join me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ this Sunday for week 52 service, which would coincide with Mother's Day. Yes, with Mother's Day. We're going to celebrate our wonderful mothers. And we're, I thank God that my mom is yet in the land of the living and that we have her and, and so many other mothers. And there are people who, who are watching and your mom's already gone to glory. Your mother is no longer with you. The beautiful thing about Mother's Day is that it honors mothers, mothers who are yet with us and mothers who have gone on. Ain't nobody like mama. So we look forward to celebrating uh, that day. But uh, but the, the, the thing that has me, have me so fired up and, and so excited is that it will be week 52. The Lord, with all of the death and destruction, all that was going on, going on. And to be honest with you, my friends, not everybody born again was rooting for us. They just assumed that we were crazy. That what, what does wouldn't have them doing now? Uh, and they were held their breath waiting for a, a big outbreak and for something horrible to happen. And you know what? They decided at some point that they better go on and breathe because uh, you can't you can't hold your breath on God. And if you trust the Lord and you stand by the Lord, God will perform his word. Now on tonight, ah, I'm a little upset and I've got to talk to you about something tonight. I saw something and God, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And the Lord said, I want you to share with the people. Amen. The mind of God concerning these things that are going on in the world. Now, my friends, nothing is beyond the scripture. Nothing is beyond God's word. And the Bible is right. And I tell you, the God of the Bible is in charge. But I, I, I'm telling you, as believers, we cannot lose our ability. We cannot lose our righteous indignation. Sin ought to still move you. It ought to upset you. It ought to, it, you ought to feel a certain kind of way when you see things being done and trying to be sold to the American people and to the audience as being normal when what you're looking at is ab, uh, abject heinous sin and wickedness. But there is a standard and the standard is the standard of God. And you know what? Sin is sin and wickedness is wickedness. Wrong is wrong. Evil is evil, regardless to what your political affiliation may be. The Bible is right. And we're going to stand on the word of God. Now, I want you to come tonight. I want you to come. You're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. I want to talk to you. I'm armed with the word of the Lord. And we're excited about sharing God's word with you tonight. So join me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Whether you join us in person or through the social media platforms, Join us here, my friends, for, you got it, Bible study. <laughs> yes, Bible study. We are going to study the scriptures together. Now, you go on out and make it a wonderful day, and I'll see you tonight. God bless.